those are for trolling. Those okay. Are, those are full, you know, um, Penn Center or Penn Internationals. Yep. And then those are the electric reels that I'll use. If you look up here. The one with the white? Yeah. Okay. Those are just the electric covers. reels. Okay. If you look up here. Yep. You go up there. You got. It's probably the one you'll use. It's an electric reel. Okay. This, I'm going to put an electric reel on it, and it's going to be used for descending the fish. Yep. When they go, when they, you know, because they blow up. Oh, the okay. Pressure. Yes. We have to drop them down with that special thing I brought. Okay. These are for top flat lines, which okay. will cast some out with a live bait on it. If we get live bait, it'll be swimming behind the boat. Yep. While we're fishing bottom, any pelagics come swimming by, they'll nail it. I mean, I've caught huge tuna. I mean, like black fins. They're big for black fins. Yes. I, I got like... 43 rod holders. Oh my God, 43. Yeah. <laughs> so, down in here, thawing out, I've got some squid, because the first spot when we go to catch bait, we'll need some squid, so I threw okay. it in here. And then this is shrimp, raw shrimp. All right. So, you know, and that's an old fish we can cut up. <laughs> Other bait I've got, we won't run out of bait out there. We're gonna be for a few days. Okay. Yep. Oh my uh, god. As you can see, you know. Oh. And so like hot. this, I bought this at the supermarket. I mean, yes. This is you know, grocery store. Exactly. That's what yep. I buy too. Yeah. Yeah. These are huge, though. Look at the size of these shrimp. Oh, wow. Yeah, they are big. I mean, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> if a fish take that one, that's it. You know, well, we cut those into like thirds or fourths. Yep. Yeah. I've got Ballyhoo already rigged. I've got, I rigged it and I got a whole bunch of Oh, you of rigged it yourself. Oh, yeah, nice. I got a bunch of things at Ballyhoo. The bottom's all chum. Okay. Chum. And these are squid. And this is extra ice. In fact, we're going to take these out right now. Uh. All right, check out this boat. Full kitchen there. You have the indoor sitting area for eating. Then you have the uh, refrigerator. And also we have another freezer there. Plenty and this going down here first. It's the restroom area, I mean, restroom slash bedroom. So here's the first restroom. And straight into the bedroom, that's where I'm staying. And by the way, guys, under here, I wish I could lift it, but uh, I can't, but it's an engine. It's loud, but let me tell you, when you're tired from fishing, you're good. You don't feel tired. Here's the second uh, bedroom. It has a upstairs, and there's a nice king size bed. You can sleep three people, actually, right on here. Look at that. Look how big it is. You get your window up there too. So this is like the front of the boat. Now back there was where I was sleeping to the back of the boat. You have a drawer in here. Ah, nothing here. And here goes the restroom. Okay. And leaving this area, you do have these cabinets and going up. You have the other side. And this is uh, the kitchen side. And let's see to the right show you this part look at this this is the engine room nobody normally sleeps here but if you look up there if they have to they'll help clean this out and then you know the person can sleep here too it's right below the engine let me tell you it is a little noise in the beginning but when you're exhausted you sleep so that comes right down and then there's another bedroom another king size same setting and uh you have the bathroom here as well can you shower in the bathroom too. That's it. That's the quick tour. That look awesome or what? That is amazing. I'm glad they invited me to this trip. It's totally worth it. I'm glad my wife let me come. I mean, it was last moment when they called me and the weather happened to be perfect just to go out. Otherwise, we can't make it out there and stay for three days or four days, you know, one, three days, I guess. And we wouldn't be able to make it back, you know, with the rough seas. So.